Okay, YouTube, straight out of the horse's mouth. Here we go. Listen closely. And so we all come <clears throat> from the bloodline of the serpents, from Satan. Do it again. And so we all come <clears throat> from the bloodline of the serpents, from Satan. Can you believe that? This is a Gnostic gospel. This is what I've been trying to warn people of. To teach that is just total heresy. Another thing is Billy just did a video saying that I said that uh, the voices that he claims to hear in his head are come from demons. I never said that. What I said was that the if the Spirit of God is speaking to you, everything that the Spirit of God tells you can be verified in the written word. Remember, the word of Jesus Christ is his name. In the book of Revelations, it clearly says his name is the word of God. If you look at the first chapter of the book of John, it flat says, and the word became flesh. Mr. Hobbes says that uh, those that... Uh, you know, read and study the Bible, um, or studying, studying doctrines of men, paper doctrines of men. Well, if you actually read the Bible, there's many places in the Bible where God flat said, write this down. I mean, take the Ten, Ten Commandments as an example. The Ten Commandments were written by the finger of God himself, written by the finger of God. Um, I'm getting played with as far as my videos uh, and my comments. Things are being hidden. Comments are being hidden. Here's a comment that I just got this morning. Um, it says, if Satan can trick one-third of angels who have been in heaven in the presence of God, how much more are we at risk? We must pray for ears to hear and eyes to to see for protection what he does is so typical and that is mixed truth with deception if you've ever heard a demon laugh you would never forget it in the word of God which is the truth he warns us he will send a strong delusion we must keep ourselves nourished by reading the Bible every day. Again, we must keep ourselves nourished by reading the Bible every day. I will take the word over what any man says any time. Okay? So, one more time here. And so we all come <coughs> from the bloodline of the serpents from Satan. So, Billy Hobbs is teaching the Gnostic Gospel, just like Jonathan Cleck teaches the Gnostic Gospel. I've been after Jonathan Cleck for years now on this. And, um, you know, I've got all these comments here. Every, you know, a lot of people see it, a lot of people don't. But Billy is just doing a, a soft version of that. Um, one thing interesting is, is on one of Billy's uh, Billy's videos somebody suggested reading or, or watching Jonathan Cleck and John and Billy clicked and you know that he liked it also that he loved it I mean come on give me a break the, the, the guy is encouraging his followers to pursue Cleck and listen to Gnostic Gospels um, also he says that you know I said he was a cult well he is a cult if you read the definition of a cult, it's a religious or religious sect generally considered to be an extremist or false, and with its followers living in an unconventional manner under the guidance of authorities and charismatic leader. Following the followers of such a religion or sect, a system of community or religious worship or rituals. I never said that, you know, Billy is... Um, you know, trying to get people to worship him. 
what I said was he's teaching false doctrine. It's a big difference. I also never said that the voices in his head are demons. Um, if anybody can show me where I said that, please do. Cut, paste, show me the video. And, uh, you know, because I don't think I ever said that. What I said, again, was the word is given to us for a reason. It's to light our feet. It's to light the path. That's what the Bible says many, many times. Um, I'm going to make this video short because the attention span of people are so short these days. But, um, you know, William Brannan was one of the ones that, you know, was a big promo promoter, proponent of this uh, serpent seed doctrine. And um, here's, a, here's another comment here. In the Gospel of Philip, in the early Gnostic writings, and the Zohar, the main literary source, which is the teaching of Kabbalah, your found teachings that is commonly referred to as a serpent seed doctrine. I hope I've proven to you that Billy's teaching a serpent seed Gnostic gospel or a, a Gnostic serpent seed doctrine um, you know he's a nice guy he feeds little kids but that's works based salvation you know doing doing good things there's going to be many that's going to stand before Jesus and, and they're going to get thumbed down and people are going to be saying well what do you mean we cast out demons in your name we did this in your name we did that in your name he said yeah but you didn't know me so Jesus Christ would never tell you ever tell you not to read and study his word and he would never tell you that the Bible is a paper doctrine of men that's it I'm gonna make this short and sweet and uh, love you guys and hopefully you guys will help me wake this guy up because he's leading a lot of people right into the ditch take care God bless you <laughs>